Hello beautiful Virgos and welcome to the channel. I'm Erica. I'm a psychic medium and a healer. I hope that this message finds you well. Um, sorry if you guys see my kitty in the background. He's not sure what he wants to do. I feel that could be relevant um, to your message. Maybe there's something that you're not sure what you want to do or maybe you are connected to someone who's been a bit confused or they're not sure what they want to do possibly. Um, I feel that a lot of you guys, Virgos, I'm getting like in the midst of change, okay? So I'm going to start off with some with an oracle message for you and then we'll dive deeper into your reading. This is your reading for the second week of November 2023, but this is a timeless message. So when it finds you on your soul journey, it's when it's meant to find you, my love. Um, ooh, I'm hearing great love is worth taking that risk. So... Okay, so we can have a great love on the, on our hands here for, for you Virgos. New beginning, I just saw 1-1. One, one. So you guys might be seeing a lot of that 1-1-1. One, one, one. Uh, you know, 11, we are in the 11-11 portal, so it is. Uh, and then I just saw 1-1-1 one, one, one as I look up again. So definitely meant to see those ones, um, which is new beginning energy for you guys, which is beautiful, which is what I, I felt. There's some new energy for you on the horizon here. There is a blanket of heaviness, uh, you know, maybe anxiousness, worry, fear, whatever it is, there's this, there's this energy lifting from you where you guys are just starting to feel lighter and better and just more uh, connected in tune, maybe not so disconnected. You know, um, you guys are the hermit card in the major arcana and I do feel you guys coming, I'm getting the awakening, another huge awakening, right? I feel that you guys are coming out of the, out of the hermit energy and into the light. Um, so maybe you're coming out of the isolation. Okay. That's, that's what I want to say. So let's see what the, the mystic, what is it? The mystical shaman. I can never remember. I mean, I know it, but I've had this deck for a long, a long time. Mystical shaman oracle. So I'm going to read the message here from what the mystical shamans want to say to you virgo Ooh, the rainmaker card number 42 and the holy mountain you've reached some holy success there's a climactic energy here for you okay and when i when i say climactic i mean you've reached the tippy it's funny too because i was just look at that the beauty way with the lotus and the dragonfly yeah, you guys are walking the beauty path, the beauty way, meaning there's more beauty entering your life, your reality, and less, uh, you know, negativity, death, energy, you know, toxicity, whatever it is, right? This is the beauty way, okay? So the holy mountain, um, you guys could be going on some kind of journey, a vacation, or like maybe spending more time outdoors, camping, or going on a hike, or just connecting with nature more. That's what I'm getting. You guys may need to connect with, na with nature more for some grounding and, and things like that. I'm getting calming and soothing. So to help calm and soothe, I just saw 333. Okay, so card number 42. 42 and 25, this could be ages. Uh, 42 breaks down to a six. That those could be a date. 25th could be a date or breaks down to a seven. Um, you know, another date possibly. Here we go. The rainmaker. This is beautiful. Okay. All right. So the invitation, um, actually I'm just going to read all three of these for you. Okay. So the essence of this card pages 86 and 87. The essence, the rainmaker is the master of manifestation who can call on the elements of nature to serve the greater good. When the power to co-create is used with integrity, great beauty and benefit flow to all. When this power is used for personal gain only, everyone suffers. When the earth is parched, the rainmaker calls the waters from the heavens and all that is dormant in the fields and in people's hearts springs to life again. The invitation. The rainmaker is calling you to create something new from the elements that are already in your life. Be sure you work with what is and not with what might be or could have been. The seeds that have been silently germinating in your heart will burst forth ready for the sunlight. 
Do not hold back. Put all your chips on the next roll of the divine dice, the medicine of this card. Recognize how you are co-creating your world. Nothing is happening out there without your involvement. Remember that the world is only mirroring back to you the condition of your love and your intent. So change these within before you take any action. Do not take life personally. Okay. So it does speak of creating, you know, not being manipulative, not, you know, coming from a place of me, me, me or selfish stuff, you know, coming from a place of the highest and greatest good for yourself and for all. Okay. Um, and manifesting from the heart and not from ego um, and, you know, false perception and, you know, things of that nature. Okay. So, you know, maybe that's where you were manifesting from was more from that area and you've moved into more of the heart space and you're really just like, you know what, like, this is what I, this is what I desire. This is what I want. I know it'll, it'll make me happy. It'll feel good. But also, you know, it's for the highest and greatest good of all. Okay. You're coming from maybe more of that space. I feel that you've been the rainmaker in your own life. You've been calling upon the rain, the nourishment, you know, the, the, the hydration, the stuff that you need in order to grow. Um, there's been a lot of cleansing happening for you guys, really taking care of your energy. But you've been tending to some seeds, and the seeds are bursting. With the Holy Mountain, we do have, like I said, the climactic point. You've been climbing uphill, up the mountain, up the mountain, your whole life. And this is a, a, a point where the sun shines upon you and the clouds dissipate disappear and it's just the sunshine energy moving in okay um so that's what i got for that um let's do some tarot and see what comes through for you guys and i like that it says to work with what the elements that you already have and to not work with the past or work with like what's not or what hasn't been yet okay so don't live in the past too much. That creates depression and sadness. Don't live in the future too much because that creates worry and fear, you know, anxiety. Um, be present and be thankful for what it is that you do have and that will create more abundance for you. Again, coming from that heart space. Sorry, guys. <laughs> My lips are dry. Um, I've been working all morning, um, and I had to get these, the last two Zodiacs out for week two for Virgo and Libra. Okay. So mm, two of cups by chance on the bottom of the deck. There's a great rebirth happening between you and a soulmate. That's what this message is. I, I just, I just, oh my God, Virgo. I'm telling you, you guys, my gifts are. Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> I immediately, I heard the message. There's a great rebirth in love happening for Virgo. Okay. And then I split the deck literally on the major arcana card of rebirth. It literally says death and rebirth. I am never wrong about these things. Thank you, spirit and, and universe are always backing me up here. You've gone through the death cycle and now is the time for rebirth. I feel this is a very intense past life uh, bond that you, 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 you hold with this person. Virgo, I feel that you have felt something big in love coming in for you your whole life. Like you just knew it was going to happen. Okay. This could be someone from your past. Where there was an ending and now there's going to be this rebirth, new beginning. Okay, but for a lot of you guys, yes, this could be someone that you walked away from or they turned their back on you for some reason. Um, that's for some of you. But for a lot of you guys, this is someone brand new. This is someone whom you have not met yet. Who you have very strong past life ties with. Who you guys have both lost each other through, you know through lifetimes to, to death. You've been separated many times over from this person and this is the lifetime where you guys come together. You guys come together, you guys heal and it's a very much live happily ever after 10 of cups type energy here. All right, so let's see, two of swords. I'm hearing Mark Anthony, I didn't see it, I can't believe it. Oh, but I feel it when she sang to me. So 
you know, that's a song of like a man who lost this woman that he really loves. So, you know, that's for me confirmation of like the past life energy of like, you know, if it's someone that you've known, then that's, you know, this, but, um, what I feel is Virgo in a past life, this person, whoever they are, it's almost like you knew this, you saw them on a soul level and maybe they were just so blinded by, you know, in, it could be just the era. It could be, you know, whatever it is, it was, they were blinded to true love, you know, and it felt very, you know, for you, it felt almost like, how can you not see this or feel this? Like, it's so clear to me, you know, that's what I'm getting. And in, that's what I'm getting. I didn't see it, you know, because look, I didn't see it. This person was blinded. They're not blind anymore. This is someone when they lay eyes on you, they will recognize you again. And this time they won't let you go. They've learned something here. Three of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. Partnering up, working with someone. Weaving your lives together to create and build towards Ten of Pentacles. This could be someone for a lot of you guys too, though, past person that they've had blinders on as well. Maybe they were at a, a crossroads or have been at some kind of crossroads for some time. Yeah, exactly. Six of Wands, it's a yes card. Yeah, crossroads, confusion. Okay, this could be someone who is very successful. They could be in the spotlight somehow, or you are. There's a lot of options here. I feel, Virgo, that there's a lot of options and victory and success moving in for you in general. Um, you've leveled up. You're leveling up, and these 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 level ups, these higher timelines, what they bring in is um, success, recognition, and reward. Okay, victory after a long battle or long battles in life. Okay, moving out of the stages of um, needing to call down the rain as the rainmaker. These are now the stages where the rain has come, um, the seeds have been watered and and nourished and tended to and uh now there is uh some kind of victory here and a lot of options for you to choose from in life if it's in work multiple people companies want you right you don't feel like you have to go and stay here anymore because you are qualified enough or you're this that or the other to go and pick and choose you could be choosy you know, say beggars can't be choosers. You're not a beggar. <laughs> You're not a beggar. You don't need any, like they need you. You don't need them. That's the message here. I'm also getting choose wisely. Okay, Virgo. So you may have to choose wisely over something. Use discernment. Use your intuition and don't be fooled by illusion here. Okay. You, this is a, a successful uh, season for you. Okay. We are honing in on the week. So this is a week of feeling good, feeling vibrant, feeling more alive, you know, make sure you're taking time to meditate. Okay. Block out energies. If you need to really take care of yourself, your energy field, your body, you know, your different bodies, your mental body, your emotional body, your spirit body, your physical body, you know, all things, right? She's in prayer, prayer pose, right? What's she been praying for? She's been praying for divine love for someone that she could spend her life with. For a partner, for a best friend, for an ally, for a supporter, for, you know, someone that is a match and an equal to her. That's this. There is a love wish fulfilled here. There is a victory in love. After a lot of pain, you've had to heal a lot, a lot of parts of your heart. Heartbreak after heartbreak, tear after tear, rip after rip, shatter after shatter. You had to pick up all those pieces, right, Virgo? And keep mending yourself. The healer heals themselves first. That's what the healer does. That's how the healer knows how to heal is because they had to heal themselves first, right? You guys are powerful healers. While you've been in hermit mode or while you've gone within, you know, every time you go within, you find new parts of self, new gifts, 
new callings, new passions, you know, all the things, right? Three of swords. Now there's also a soulmate here for many of you guys who is in a lot of pain and sadness because they miss you is what I want to say. It's not what I want to say. It's actually what I'm getting. It's what I'm receiving. They know you're a uh, wish fulfillment. Yep. Because you've got it together, baby. Man or woman, it doesn't matter. You got it together. You got your whole world in check. Okay, this is someone who just, they view you as like you, you're put together. You're abundant. You're accomplished on your own. You know, you don't need anybody. She's very grounded and stable. And she knows her worth and her value. And who she is and what she brings to the table. And someone sees this within you. Coming together with a soulmate. Love is in the air in this 1111 portal through, you know, October, November, and December. But November and December are quite magical months. I've been channeling this for about six months now, and I predicted that these going from fall into the cold winter months of 23-24, that there was going to be a lot of divine unions taking place and coming together. So like here in the Northern Hemisphere, it's fall and winter, you know? As the winter, as the, as the, sorry, as the air grows colder, love and romance grow warmer. So that's the energy that I've been channeling and I keep getting. And I feel that here with you guys, sitting in front of the fire with someone, cozying up with someone, but it's more than just the feel goods and the cloud nines. It's the, we belong together. This feels right. We fit together perfectly. Our hands fit together perfectly. Our bodies fit together perfectly. Our minds, our hearts. This is something that you prayed for. Wish, wishes come true. Wishes are filled here. Could absolutely happen this week. But I feel for a lot of people, it's like, you know, the over the next few weeks. So we'll see what your what your week three reading has to say. But there's something here. Look at that. I said the seeds have been cultivated and there it is. Divine timing and harvest. The fruits of your labor. What you've been pouring your energy into. Okay. So for those of you guys that this is a past person, I'm just going to see how does this person, what are they feeling and thinking towards Virgo? What are they thinking and feeling towards Virgo? We'll just kind of see mutually between the mind and the heart what's going on here. Okay, so if this is your reading, my loves, uh, be sure to claim it by liking. Tie your energy in, um, you know, so I pull more accurately on you and your situations um, in the future as well. But, you know, and thank you because it does, ooh, it does help the channel grow. Um, and thank you for subscribing. If you're new here, be sure to hit that. Subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new content, weekly readings, I do daily collective messages, um, I do live readings, live card pulls, all the things, all the things. Okay, so what else? What is this person feeling? Let's see. Nine of Swords, Ace of Cups. Ooh, this is someone who's in deep regret over walking away. This keeps coming back. This is like the third time it's come back. So you have the eight the nine and the one. Okay. So we're missing some completion here with the 10, but that's okay. This, there's a leap here from this to this. Okay. There's a progression here. So someone is in the stages here of completing something on their end, but this is how they feel towards you. I can't believe I messed up. I messed up. I love this person and I messed up. I hold a big cup of love for them and I want to open up, but I've got to handle whatever the completion is on their side. Okay. All right, this is victory for you. Okay, so that's how they're feeling. All right, so tell me about the new person. Okay, so, you know, you may have a, a past person and a new soulmate showing up. That tends to keep coming up a lot in this week's messages for the Zodiacs. And in collective uh, downloads and, and, you know, things that I'm receiving too. Especially for the Divine Feminines, the Empresses out there right now. They have people watching, exactly, Eight of Pentacles watching so this new person could be someone who you work with, okay? Um, 
it could be someone that you already know, you've collaborated with them in some way, or maybe you know them through a friend of a friend of a friend, I don't know. Um, it's just like mutual weavings for some of you guys where there's mutual weavings between you guys. Like, you know, like on, you know, like it's like, oh, you have, you know, 30 mutual friends between you and this person. So it could be something like that. Okay. And then maybe it's like, oh, a friend suggestion pops up and then boom, they see you, you know, looking all fine in your profile pic or something. And they're like, add friend or send message, you know, like that. Someone who sees you somehow though, this is a card of work but it doesn't have to be that at all. For a lot of you guys, it's not gonna be that. But for some of you guys, maybe you work in the same building or maybe on your morning uh, your morning um, commute to work, you know, you stop at the same Starbucks every morning and you go through the drive-thru every day and maybe you and this person cross paths in your car sometimes and end up in the drive-thru at the same time, you know, and maybe one day they just make a move, you know, say something to you, buy your coffee, you know, I don't know, it could be anything. So, you know, it's, there's so many different ways that the universe can bring people into our lives and to help us cross paths. But this is someone here that, um, that will want to be focused and you'll have all their attention and they'll want to build with you. Okay. So that is what I have for you, my loves. There is definitely new beginnings here with the full leaps of faith here. You may be taking leaps of faith in new directions. Say, say yes to change. Say yes to opportunities. You know, there's something here about just say yes, man. You know, that, that movie, yes, man, or whatever it's called, or, um, yeah, is it yes, man? Yeah. With Jim Carrey or whatever. I don't know, but it's like, yes, man. Like you just say yes to everything instead of like saying like, no, I don't think so. You know? Okay. That's okay. If you if you feel called to protect your energy and no, I don't want to do this or no, thank you. That's fine. But I'm getting that you guys need to put yourselves out there. That you guys need to say yes, man. Yes to change. Okay. There's a lot of celebration energy here. Going out with friends, cheersing, having good times. You know, this could be Christmas parties or holiday get-togethers, friends giving. You know, different things like that. Which reminds me, I need to organize my friends giving for this year. Um. This is coming together with a soulmate though. This is some kind of happy, happy soulmate reunion happening. Yeah, see the Hierophant soul. Soul energy all over this. And when I, I mean, we're all souls having a human experience, but when I say that, I mean like soulmate energy, like this is intense soul connection, the lovers and the two of cups and the ace of cups. Uh-huh. Yeah, someone just takes a shot. They take a leap of faith towards you. And this, this love, this soulmate, for you guys, it's very healing. You guys are very healing to each other. You, you, you've you been on your own healing paths, but coming together, you guys continue on your own journeys individually and you start one together in the physical, okay? But you guys help each other on each other's individual and your mutual journey together. It's very healthy. It's very functionable. It's very long-term, okay? It's beautiful. It's like no effort required, one of those things. It's just like, it's just very organic and it flows, okay? So this is what I have for you, my loves. I'm very happy for you guys. Um, if you want to book a reading with me, I offer a few different types of uh, spiritual services, psychic readings, Akashic past life readings, uh, event sesh that I have, intuitive energetic healing. You can find it all down below. Um, and that's also where you can find these are last, last call, last call. Um, but for my, this Saturday on the 11-11 portal date, um, I am facilitating over Zoom. Uh, it is recorded, so even if you can't make it, it's totally fine. Um, a quantum healing and activation workshop, okay? Um, and I am working with specifically Goddess Isis, Hathor, and Mary Magdalene. This is my fifth one. They're very powerful, um, very fun, very exciting, very healing, very um activating like i can't even explain you can read all the detailed information down below and how to purchase the ticket um but yeah tickets are only 44 dollars usd and we would love to have you there this is an activation um that will continue to work even after the uh the session and watching a replay of it like uh, on a recorded like if you can't make the live it's just as powerful and you could re-watch it and and do the guided meditations and all the things as much as you feel called. But yeah, I, I, you know, if you're ready, if you feel, if you're ready to level up and to expand out like a lot, a lot, a lot, and to open up more of your sacred codes and dormant gifts and things like that, 
then it's something that you might want to consider. So anyways, I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. Bye for a ghost.